Right now, 7 News tracking a large protest going on in Denver here with within students uh, with students within the last hour, I should say. Students from high schools across the Denver public schools area started their march to the state capitol, and our Lance Hernandez is right there with them. Lance, what's the latest out there? All right, you can take a look at the protesters barking, marching on Colfax again. We're toward, at the tail end of this. About 100 or so students and members of the community marching from City Park down to the state capitol protesting the grand jury's decision in Ferguson, Missouri, and also police brutality in police departments all around the country. Now, they told me a little bit earlier they were going to stick to the sidewalks, but they've opted to go down Colfax, so they're in the westbound lanes. Police are escorting them, trying to keep traffic uh, from uh, being affected too much. It took them about a minute, minute and a half for that entire crowd to get past me at this location over here at Colfax and Pennsylvania. I talked to one of the uh, organizers just a few minutes ago why they're doing it since they've already had a few other protests. It doesn't stop. It doesn't stop until we see results. Um, and as high schoolers, we are willing to go as long as it takes. Um, I know people of all ages who are willing to go as long as it takes until um, something changes, which is within the U.S. Police Department. Now, those, those protesters told me that they're making some demands of the city of Denver. They want the uh, police officers who were guilty of killing Marvin Booker fired. They want to hire a special prosecutor to try cases of police misconduct. And they want to stop uh, Denver public schools from instituting lockdowns for schools that exercise uh, their right to protest. Reporting live in downtown Denver, Lance Hernandez, 7 News.